Welcome back, WW Fly Corvair. Here we are in the shop. Today's task, putting a piston with the rings on it in the bore. We have traditionally used boxes like this, set it up uh, in this position and drive the piston home through the top. Uh, classic works. We use a ring compressor around it and to do that task. Uh, would you like to see an alternative way to do this? Yes! Uh, there is no chamfer at the top of the bore. However, there is a chamfer at the bottom of the bore of the cylinders. So, let's go from this method to this one right here. You are looking at a piston entering the bore from the bottom. Uh, it has a chamfer on it. You have to uh, watch the slot over here where it is ground uh, so that uh, it has clearance for the opposing rod. But if you take a look at it, you can actually insert, using uh, only one small hand tool, actually insert the piston into the bore and the rings down into the engine. This item right here is a uh, brass pick. Uh, it is uh, just got a little flat spot on it right there and it's uh, bent in a way that I can hold it in my hand like this. I use this uh, on a lot of different things, putting seals in and everything. It lives in the top of my toolbox, only been there for 30 years. Uh, and all I'm going to do is just coax the rings uh, into the bore. And I am going to be pushing on them only with the brass tool. Got to pick a side you want to start on. Uh, like It's sort of like mounting a tire. Uh, you're going to start one side and get that worked in and then we're going to come back here and I'm going to push that one in and as you see it it is the first ring, the top ring has already gone in uh, so now we're going to uh, do the same thing with the uh, second ring and I can get it lift down on one side right there work my way around Coax it into the board. Want to make sure that you don't hang up on that spot right there. And it's in. Now it's just down to the oil control ring, which is already on that side. And I just got to work it around here. first five went pretty quick. Of course the one you do on film always takes a little bit longer. Moves freely when you push down on it uh, with your hands. It's going to have ring drag but it'll move in the bore with just finger pressure which tells you that all the rings are actually set and in position. If you hung a ring up on it it would uh, be so tight in the bore that you could not move it. But right there is how you put a, a, a piston in a bore from the bottom. Uh, this is more common on uh, 3 liters and 3.3's that it enters that way. But this is a 3 liter motor right here and it's got an SPA uh, uh, 3 liter kit it's a set of Ross pistons and a set of billet rods. Uh, it's actually uh, a, a quickie rebuild on a motor that's uh, got a lot of time and service. Uh, and that is uh, uh, how I prefer to put them together for 3 liters. A 3.3 three, you put the rods on the crank first and then you put the pistons and the bores uh, while the uh, uh, rods are already in the engine. It's a little bit different. It's explained really well in the manuals. A, uh, uh, three liter I do it uh, this way where I put the pistons in the bottoms of the bores but I already have the rods set uh, on them and then assemble it onto the engine. Uh, 2700s I generally uh, put them in the t still in the top of the bore with a regular ring compressor but this methodology works uh, quite well also. Anyway one more uh, technique 31 years of uh, experience 
little brass tools. Life is grand. We'll see you out on the flight line. Thanks very much.